All right, now it's time for the third video. Video number three, and I want to bring you into this because um, you're the one who usually does this. Oh, oh yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. What What is it? <laughs> well, we um, we found we finally found a recipe that's uh, doing really really well for um, uh, keeping the, the 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 buggies off of our food. Oh, yeah. Yes, because yes, okay. you usually do this. Um, okay. You so clue me in no, you knew. You now you know. Don't don't play ignorant. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so there's a lot of things that are out there online about how you can, you know, uh, organically mm -hmm. keep uh, keep the bugs off of your stuff. And a uh, big one is neem oil. So yeah. we have it on the porch. Let's go quick. Take a look at it. And we have one of those uh, one gallon sprayers. What do you think, honey? Is it going to set this time? Uh -huh. Hope so. so. It looks like it looks a little better than last time. All right, so I brought this out so you guys could see it. We bought this a couple years ago, and it we still have about this much in it. But this is the stuff. This is the neem oil, and um, it it pretty much will kill most of the insect issues. Most of them. It, um, still you know uh it wears off it, it does it, especially it they they recommend that you don't spray your neem oil and soap mixture when you know it's going to rain because the rain is just going to wash it off so and you don't want to spray when it's sunny like this because it'll just it'll it burn your plants it burns them for whatever so you do it early in the morning or right after the sun goes down at night and and just we're, we're just talking about the neem oil mixture itself yes. so what do you gotta so for the one gallon uh guards a gallon um i mix four they say they say four teaspoons which is close to a tablespoon of neem oil it's yes yeah, it's, it's two tablespoons i think two right tablespoons two teaspoons per table but two tablespoons yeah. is what they recommend but we do we do just a tad bit more than that and then i add a good couple good sized squirts of soap to help emulsify emulsify the neem oil and and, and in warm water too in warm it's got to be warm water otherwise it just kind of doesn't sit and Otherwise, it just beads off. Yeah, and slides off. It doesn't work. So you yeah. Have so you gotta have the warm to to emulsify it. You yes. shake it really shake good. Shake it really, really, really good. And, and and then we've got some special ingredients. And then we we just started adding. Well, we did it last year too, but we um, now blend up garlic and onion in ours. So we'll take a. We were using the garlic scapes. We were using garlic scapes when we had them. And because that was a much stronger garlic smell, um, and then we blend it all together, and then add and fi in, we'd filter it. Filter it through paper uh, towels. At least twice through paper towels to get all the particulates out, and then we'd uh, mix it with the neem oil and soap mixture, and mix it really, really, really. And then good. we add a, a added a side of capsaicin, which would be the hot which sauce. Which would be the hot sauce if you've got it. If not, if you've got really hot peppers, good hot blend pepper. it all together mm -hmm. and strain it really well, and blend it with your neem oil and mm -hmm. soap mixture, and spray. Your the underside of your leaves, the top side, especially and the, the base of your and then and the new growth, all of it, the whole plant. Basically, the whole plant, yeah. So, um, a lot of uh, other YouTubers will talk about interplanting or companion planting yeah. garlic and onions in amongst your other stuff, but that didn't stop anything for us. We we could see, and uh, we haven't quite. I mean, we've done it. We just haven't found the quite. Right. Well, well, yeah, I don't think it. I don't think a bugs care if there's a piece of garlic here. If, no, if because there's, if there's something juicy over here, they don't care about this. No, of the no. So but. we, um, what we found out, and the biggest issue is you've seen in some of my videos is, uh, you need kind of one spray to handle several issues. One, the bugs. Plus, you you saw where I showed you where the in in one of the previous videos where the beans were being eaten up by the oh, rabbits. The rabbit, yeah. So the question, the question question is what aren't the bugs and the bunnies eating and the, what they aren't eating is the the garlic the onions and um of course uh the peppers so when we've had we had those that real big thai bush of thai peppers last year and nothing nothing the tabasco, touched that the tabasco peppers. oh tabasco yes oh, yeah, tabasco. tabascos and nothing uh, really touched that so no. we we give it we make everything smell and taste like the things 
and it, and it's good. The the downfall yeah. to all of that is is it, wears off. is it wears off, and you have to do it repeatedly. And this year we've been on it like stink on shit. <laughs> <laughs> right you've been how you probably sprayed five six times at least yeah. and and we're gonna do another we had a little sprinkle this morning we'll do um, one probably later yeah and we, we'll we'll have to coat it this evening and do a good Either tonight or early tomorrow morning probably tonight would be good because bunny will come out and eat and i want my beans well even even when i sprayed it the bunny still ate the beans they still ate the beans some of them yeah well, yeah, I, we might have to have a bunny dinner. I'm okay with that. I, I've been feeding it. It can feed me. Yeah, so. I'm done. Uh, because the, the hard part is staying up into and, the night. And the thing is, too, is we planted marigolds around our garden. Oh, yeah, it didn't stop them. And em. it didn't stop them. No, we said, oh, bunnies don't like marigolds. Well, apparently these bunnies don't care. No, no, if they're hungry, they're going to eat. They're going to eat. So, anyway, um, get you a... a, a a bunch of garlic get you a bunch of onion yeah. and what we were using on the walking onions down there we're, we're just the pulling a big one off the top yeah. throwing the whole thing in the blender uh with the uh, with the garlic scapes from these garlic and now we'll probably have to just get some garlic cloves and throw in there um but that and then uh some hot sauce filter it well so it doesn't clog yeah. your sprayer yep. And then uh, go to town with it, and just go a little heavier than they they say on the on your neem oil. And then the other as there's only one other aspect is that when we go to, do you got one there? No. I'm okay, going that's just good. When we go to, oh, and Kim, I, I know you're gonna because we just got off the phone with Kim. Uh, you were talking about the sun burning. This is what we're talking this about. Is the sun. The, I think this is the sun. It's got to be because yeah. this is the new but, growth that I just sprayed. Yep. And this is the sun. Yeah, I think that's the sun burning this up these the leaves. Because this is the. Anyway, uh, when we get in here and we start spraying our, our veggies, we also look for, because the spray hits those stink bugs and the. Uh, cucumber beetles and you'll see them move and we will physically peck them off like a chicken would peck them off and uh, last response I know because somebody always says well you know turn the chickens loose if I were to turn these birds loose out here have a garden. no it would be gone they, they'd eat it all because they that's because our our babies get our scraps and because we've thrown our scraps to them they know that our garden is a good place to eat Yep, and the last little um, trinket I'll leave here with you, you know, uh, not everything's going to work well everywhere. You're going to have to try different methods. I, I, I till in some areas. Uh, some things are permanently planted because they will stay there forever, um, like the strawberries and elderberries and the trees. Some areas, like your root crops, like all those beets, have, you have to kind of till through there for the potatoes. But... Um, you know the back to Eden method boy we are really doing well over there uh, this year with all the tomatoes and brassicas but there are some things that we just have not had a very good deal on and we're trying different methods ourselves so container planning in in addition to hey goofy uh, what might need to be uh, incorporated with with your your strategy because this is the first and best I've ever gotten with cumin. Um, I got plenty of dill. I got I finally got some. Yeah, the dill. The dill's nice because it is truly a weed, and once it seeds, you know, it's going to pop up everywhere. But this is celery, and we use a lot of celery in our cooking. And uh, this is so far is the best I've been able to get in the seed here. And we got some parsley, and then all our uh, asparagus seed. We uh, started here, and later this year, I'll probably transfer it out somewhere where it can be there permanently uh, and grow, because those things go deep into the ground. But and oh yeah, and the coffee when we had an issue with it, um, but uh, we're we're trying, you know, getting the coffee to stay. So anyway, there's there's always going to be these challenges, and uh, you know we have found. Like with the cucumbers, I put cucumbers in, and the seed rotted, and seed rotted, and this this go round, I've got a bunch of them here in the container, and they look fantastic. They're a little bit late compared to what they could be. Actually, these over here did real well. 
run over here real quick. I know this video is getting a little bit long, but these are actually doing well in here, and these are uh, big old salad cukes, and that, that'll be good. Those over there are, are picklers. So, you know, it's going to be trial and error, but this one recipe um, uh, it's done pretty good. Look at that. Hazy, hazy, cloudy, running AC. I'm telling you, I love it. I love being out here. The systems that we got. All right, well, it's going to be a bit before you see more. Uh, we got the three going up today, and um, uh, I'll, say it, I'll say it again in this video as I did in the other one. With all the things going on in this world, we are truly blessed and thankful. We're thankful to God. We're thankful to... Um, all of those of you that have helped us on this journey and Shadow thanks you yes. uh, for coming along on the journey and um, uh, it's going to be it's been it's been tough but uh, we truly feel blessed out here because um, you can sure everybody hits that subscribe button and yeah. thumbs it up because that really helps it always does but you know we're gonna like I said things are busy we're gonna be a little on the um, quiet side because we just got so much that I got to, I am so behind I need to finish things down there and then I need to cut all those logs up because we need to rebuild the, the the pump house here and you know um, it's time time and there's and we're, we're at the end of the game and and uh, things are gonna get really sketchy dicey here over the next few weeks and months I mean things are getting crazy so you all be blessed all of you have um, uh, seen what's coming has learned about the changes and have been making changes to adjust with it and uh, you know um, hopefully uh, all of that will be be good and hopefully this um, this recipe will help you if you have bug issues or bunny issues or or something that effect that recipe is, is working real good now our garden looks so much better this year than it has in all three years that we've been here. So, thank you. We uh, wish you the best. Our prayers are out for you. And send a few our way. And we love you all. And thank say bye-bye.